But my fear is that either someone's going to get hit. Today, only our cameras rolling as residents in North Olmsted forced to dodge traffic in a crosswalk. We'll just keep going. <laughs> they don't even look at the flashing light? I don't think so. Only News Channel 5 watched people in North Olmsted repeatedly dodging car after car. As you can imagine, people who live there are concerned about their safety. They are actually calling the crosswalk at Clegg Park on Clegg Road downright dangerous. That's where we find our Meg Shaw. Meg, you've been out there all afternoon. What's the problem? Well, the problem simply is drivers. These lights here, as you can see, those are supposed to start flashing when residents who want to cross the road come over to push this button. However, as you saw in the video and there in the beginning, as I saw many times today, drivers are simply ignoring these lights and going straight through. Not stopping, not stopping. I mean, it's taken me at least four or five times just to get through that light before. That's Josh Smith. He lives on Alexander, just up the street from this area. He told me today, too many drivers around here don't stop when these lights come on. It's like a false sense of security. Whenever you press that button, you think you can just walk, but I mean, you can't. And as you can see, not many drivers pay attention. People who live here say this isn't anything new. And a lot of times I've seen the, the pedestrians themselves kind of step out and go hold it. You know, you're supposed to stop for us. But yeah, I see it many times. Today I was there as Nikki Caper and her son Ben were heading to the park on their bikes. Fortunately for them, only one car didn't stop when the lights came on. That was shocking. That was awesome, actually. Has it ever happened that quickly before? Never. Resident Sue Totten told me she would like to see police monitoring the area, but also saying drivers need to pay attention. There's more things going on than just getting from point A to point B and texting on the phone. Now I'm working to get answers for these residents. I contacted North Olmsted Police and the city about this. Now the police chief did tell me that they will put a police here to monitor the area as soon as they can, even starting tomorrow. Now of course we're going to stay on top of this story, make sure that something happens with this crosswalk, and we'll let you know. Live in North Olmsted for the now, Meg Shaw.